Hello guys, um, what I'm going to be going through with you today is the difference between iWork 09 and Microsoft Office 2011. Obviously 2011 is a lot newer as it came out at the start of 2011 I think and iWork was obviously uh, late 2009 I think. Uh, so with iWork you get three applications which is Keynote, Numbers and Pages. Uh, with Office you get uh, down here Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, and Communicator. You also get these three applications, uh, which are also free uh, from the Microsoft website. Uh, so, Word would be equivalent to Pages, and PowerPoint would be your equivalent to Keynote, and Excel your equivalent to Numbers. I'm just going to open up all three applications, uh, actually there were six applications. Uh, just to show you and compare the differences, um, I've never been on Office 2011 for Mac, so you know, I might be a little bit rusty, but I did have the old one, but I've only got around to buying uh, 2011 today. Okay, so obviously for Mac you have these template choosers uh, and this is numbers and this one is uh, pages and this one will be keynote I've never used keynote actually that's funny but anyway do a list of you know different things you can do with them different templates you can choose from as you can see they are very you know elegant and professional Especially for, you know, how old it is, you'd still consider that better than our Office 2010. Well, I would. And, you know, it gives you a good range of templates to choose from, uh, as well as all these. Um, so, I'm going to go through the uh, Office one. So, here we go, uh, straight into PowerPoint. This is a little different 2010, as you can see already. I'm uh, just going to close this thing and it fits around and here we have the online templates now I was a big fan of online templates in the Microsoft versions um, having them on the Mac is actually excellent uh, just see if there's any good ones available and as you can see here uh, they, are, they have great different things I'm not sure why you'd have a card on PowerPoint but you know, there you are so I'm just going to open up one of the ones that actually come with uh, PowerPoint here. Uh, was too okay, here it is. So this is PowerPoint. It's give us a quick uh, little template with uh, pre-done slides. So I'm just going to go through with a uh, variety of different things which uh, we got to play about with. So if I click play here, uh, we'll go into the slideshow view and I want to see buttons, I thought these would be animated but you know and yeah there's nothing special about this, uh, you've got your pen uh, pens and stuff there's nothing else more about that okay so up here we got our tab uh, thing, ribbon bar I think it was called, I can't remember to be honest but it seems a little like uh, the Windows version uh, we got the different themes which are available to put on our slideshow here, so we're just going to pick one of these and it will change the whole document for us, so you know you'd have to go through them individually and we got tables, different tables we can have I'm not sure that, that's not a table uh, but yeah we let PowerPoint hasn't changed a lot, it might have some new animations or something else but you know it's not a lot different so we're just gonna quit out of that um, so we'll go into Max version of PowerPoint as you can see there's not as many themes and templates available uh, but there are still quite a lot a very good application to be working with uh, you've got everything you need up here. It's not quite as, you know, full up as Office, but yeah, you've got everything you want. So we're going to quit out of the pages.
videos and everything. So this is Excel. Excel is not a thing I use a lot. Uh, actually, I hardly use it at all. So we're just going to look up into this. Ah, uh, right. Okay, we're going to open up a quick template. The template chooser was just the same as Office uh, for PowerPoint. Uh, so, here, I guess, if I... No. I thought there were about some uh, live things going on. Uh, but basically, it's just showing off the visual stuff, I should imagine. Uh, as you can see over here, you can have little notes, which you could never do that before actually. And the line actually fought this line over here, uh, follows wherever you put the note. That's a cool feature if you're showing some of the uh, things which you made on your spreadsheet. Uh, that would actually come in handy when I use mine. Um, again, up here we have all the smart art. I don't think we used to have this before, actually. Uh, this is actually very good. You can change the images and add text. And I actually can't show you that now. But yeah. Uh, yeah, we got all our formulas up here. Uh, we're not much different to before, I don't think. Uh, tables, not much different. But yeah, we'll close out of that. Uh, the main one which is everyone is excited for was Outlook. Sorry, I didn't even open that up. Uh, Outlook was something not available last year. And basically, well, just we have to use the mail. Uh, which, mail is okay. It's very uh, basic, I suppose. But, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have my me account here. Uh, see if it configs it automatically and yes it did so let's go and sync up how do we do that it's just a button up there it looks like the windows version quite a lot actually just optimized for mac uh, as you can see down here now it's receiving my messages that's going to take a while so i'm going to go back into uh, word and show you word okay so on the startup thing, we have six things, which is probably new in 2011. Uh, working full screen, which is always available in Pages. Uh, previously, I used to use that a lot, actually. Uh, access to files anyway, that's just like iWork.com. Uh, collaborate, well, that's sort of the same thing as iWork.com as well. Uh, typography. Don't think we would ever do that before. Uh, shuffle through layers. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a look. Okay, so straight into the template chooser again. Uh, have we got anything cool? As you can see, we have a lot of templates here. We have clicked on all templates. Yeah, I can see that. But there's still quite a lot of professional uh, templates. Let's just go open up this one. Okay, so this is a very uh, very professional look for Office. I think I'm going to be using this more often than Pages now because simply the look of it. Uh, on Pages it looked great, don't get me wrong, but it is getting a little bit old. Uh, if I look at my science report for you... So this would be my science report, and as you can see, we have a very neat and tidy, you know, very neat and tidy table of contents, etc., etc., etc. On Office, I think you can do this ev uh, as well. Uh, yeah, table of contents here, yeah, and they probably have a lot more to choose from. Uh, indeed, they do. And we also have cover pages. Uh, more than we can choose from. I'm a big fan of Office Cover Pages, but I don't think they've changed much by looking at this actually. Uh, it's a little bit different, it's not a lot different. I just undo that. You gotta be simple, rotate, and stuff like that. 
and that's better up there as I don't know if you can see that but it says uh, what degree the pitch is at uh, previously you'd rotate a picture and it wouldn't line up with another picture and it just looked like very silly and now you can match them up let's say 90 degrees it actually snaps on the 90 degrees and you know there it is uh, let's click the format picture so, uh, what? If we want to recolor something, let's let's choose a different color tone. Let's go let's go for like a sepia sort of thing. That's black and white. All right. This up here is a uh, color saturation. I didn't notice the title there. Sorry. Uh, taking up different colors, and this down here is I just you know color tone in a picture. So only having one picture, uh, color. Sorry. Uh, like before, you still have your glow. It looks a little bit too cheesy for me. Uh, 3D rotation. That's good, I suppose. If you like using that, it's pretty much the same as Office for Windows, uh, 2010. It's not a lot different to that. Uh, you know, it's obviously been optimized quite a lot. And you can do different things like uh, reviews, dot reviews, you know, reviewing your document, like markups and protection and things like that. But you could do all that before. Uh, from what I can see here, there's not a lot new. See, so you can, like, uh, I'll just put year one. You know, for technical things. That is actually amazing to create something like that that quick. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you've got any questions, uh, I might be able to get you some promo code to this actually if I can. But if you've got any questions, just ask them. And yeah, actually, no, I've missed out something, haven't I? Uh, Outlook. Okay, so I'm going to show you Outlook. Okay, so I'm going to find a, uh, an email I've had. Sorry about my voice, by the way, I've got a bit of a cold. Okay, so I'm just gonna. I wanna use a search thing, I wanna find a contact. Ah, <coughs> oh, right. It doesn't sync my contacts with mobile me. There's one bad thing. <laughs> right. Um. Ah. Ah, oh, right, do I? I want to filter down to has attachment. Let's have a look at that. Okay. So I have an email from someone uh, and I want to reply to it. I just click reply up here. Uh, so I just dumped my email here. Uh, what if I want a signature? Can I have a signature? Yes, you can. Now I am. I have a few signatures. I have a professional signature on pages, which I thought. Uh, can I just go into here? No. See, they've hidden things away, uh, which I really don't like them doing. Uh, they've always done this since I can even remember. You know, with more uh, with Mac. Mail is there, it's right there. Everything you need is right there. With Mac, I can't. So, it's not as if it's, you know, hidden, but it is there if you can actually look for it. But yeah, uh, so if you want to send that, send, and uh, it's sent. Robo Me has always been slow for me, so I'm not a big fan of that. But yeah, if you've got any questions about this, uh, like I said earlier, I have promo codes available, I think. I'll have to double check that though. Uh, if you've got any questions, just ask me, comment, Twitter, Facebook, email, whatever you want. And I'll be here. And if you could, it would be a great thing if you could look at my website. I have a few things there which people may want for the future, like uh, iPhone services, etc. I've just emailed myself, I only just realised that. Uh, it came through alright, I suppose. It's got a weird font going on, but yeah. 
as you can see there, come through. But there's no notification for Outlook. Um, so maybe if I send and receive and close it. Because uh, Mail has a badge down there uh, showing me my notifications. Outlook, I don't think does it. Like, can't hear any sounds, so I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I hope this helped your decision uh, with the process with deciding between iWork and Office. If you really want my opinion, um, if iWork is cheaper, get iWork, but I don't think there's a lot of difference in the price, but, you know, if you want a uh, simple, quick, uh, you know, com not complex, but, yeah, <laughs> I can't think of my words there, but if you're going to choose one, my personal decision would be iWork, still. Uh, it's probably going to be a new iWork soon, actually, so I'd probably wait for that. Uh, Office 2011, very good, uh, very posh, they make their icons look amazing and the software is not too good. It is okay, but it's a lot like the old one and it's not worth paying how much I ever paid for it, uh, you know, just for little new templates, but there you go. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.